I'm Dylan is back with a new video. This time I'm going to talk about Lighthouse tool. I don't know uh, your knowledge in web development, but I know you're working in web development field. Maybe you are an owner of a website. Maybe you are a developer or just a beginner in web development. I don't know. So this tool is really interesting. Uh, it has some powerful abilities to check performance in our website also to check accessibility issues and other practices plus it can troubleshoot SEO issues search engine optimization issues on our website plus it has another ability to check progressive web app uh, issues but I'm not going to explain more about PWA which is known as known as progressive web app uh, because it's about uh, app development or related to uh, something uh, I don't have time to discuss those stuff in this video so uh, I will start with um, normal uh, abilities that it has so lighthouse you might be wondering how it can help us. This tool is really amazing. I, I lately, I, I, I didn't realize this before, but it's a developer tool from Google. If you are trying to optimize your website on Google, then you should try this tool before uh, doing other tweaks, other s changes to your website. Uh, now I'm not going to dis uh, talk too much about uh, it's the like introduction and uh, history. We don't want to know more about. If you want to know, then just Google it. Lighthouse here. This uh, website. Uh, you can read more about the tool i will start i uh, will explain how we use this tool to troubleshoot our website you can see i have i have already opened rodi.ca the official website of rodi web design and services uh, this is a website you must uh, you can identify uh, everything on this website i believe the logo the links and other takes so in search engine optimization you should have uh, only one header one level heading and uh, then header two levels header three levels or uh, anyway if you are targeting more about seo i recommend you to do on-page SEO, first of all, uh, on-page SEO means you don't think about backlinks, you don't care about social media links, so you don't care about uh, other uh, off-site, which means uh, outside uh, variables. You just uh, keep your testing on uh, on page the internal structure so when you do the internal structure i recommend you to check about h2 h1 and uh, images and probably uh, if, if you if you don't have alt tag with your images it's not good when you do optimization uh, also um, the uh, the amount of words in the in the article for example normally we recommend you should have more than 300 words on your page uh, practically 
I think you should have more than 500 plus between 1000. I mean, minimum 500, maximum 1000 is better. Also, you should put a video link on the page. It will help more and you should work on structural language, uh, snippets, how to create snippets on search but I, I, I don't uh, want to spend too much time on explaining this stuff now I will uh, talk about this lighthouse and how to use this lighthouse tool to uh, tr troubleshoot check in our website first of all if you are a developer or a designer you know how to open inspect just right click on the page and press inspect button this inspector can help us to check elements on our web page and try with some codes here and to identify media codes and so so uh, briefly sources related to web page network performance but here there's a hidden tool called audits so you should open audits all right this is lighthouse tool it's here now well, we can check uh, we can switch here to mobile mode or desktop mode and uh, there are some we can select which we have to test right now I'm going to test everything uh, but I will I don't need progressive web app right now and it throttling it's about uh, we can check uh, our website with uh, slow network and also without throttling so it, it's all about uh, testing how our website uh, appear on on our customers visitors side so just press this run on it then it will take some time to test this okay you can see here automatically the Chrome browser searching on this uh, the, another thing uh, this tool is in uh, Google Chrome but not in uh, other browsers so if you want to install this in uh, Firefox so I don't know about Safari or Microsoft uh, I haven't tried this with Firefox also I guess there will be a version for Firefox mm, anyway uh, just make sure you are using Google Chrome when you check this uh, audit are uh, here it generated some report kind of small report performance accessibility best practices and SEO all right so we can check one by one down here uh, what kind of performance issues we got in the website and accessibility issues also some practices and SEO so I'm not going to explain everything one by one uh, the reason uh, you should learn it from a separate video you should take time to learn this tool uh, but uh, an, uh, one example here under accessibility report you can see some uh, a message say background and foreground colors do not have a sufficient contrast ratio that means if your background is white and you are writing some text using gray color then Google will think pardon me I said Google will think yeah it's correct because this tool lighthouse is from Google I believe Google search engine is having a similar system 
to recognize our web pages. I don't say Google use Lighthouse tool. Even they say they use Lighthouse tool, but it must be a, a advanced tool, advanced than this Lighthouse tool. Uh, but these, uh, like these uh, points, the way they are calculating these uh, uh, performance and other issues must be similar with Google search and uh, our lighthouse. That's why I'm uh, trying to point out this background and foreground issue. Mostly uh, web designers, beginners, they tr focus on the beauty, not the, not the accessibility. So uh, the website must be clean and uh, simple for the viewer. So if you use a background color, then you always have to use a clear foreground color. So then if they are okay, reader can easily read text. Otherwise, it will take, it will be difficult for someone's eyes. This is why Google is using this measurement there. Uh, another practice, there, there are many practices, but uh, my, this website is okay with most of them. And this is a JavaScript issue. I don't think it is a major issue, but uh, I'm not going to explain too much about code inside. Uh, in SEO, especially in SEO, you can uh, identify main issues on your web page. But uh, this website had 95% of, this means from 100, it's 95% okay. Up there, here, if it is 0 to 49, ah, uh, red color, that means terrible. You should work on the website. 50 to 89, medium, but don't give up. You have to improve more. 90 to 100, it's okay. Better. Better than others. Uh, so try to make four of them green, then I think it will affect your SEO. It's not directly, but uh, when you fix this, uh, it affects your search uh, results. Uh, it might be complicated for you because I, I, I don't know what kind of algorithm Google is using and you don't know, even Google doesn't want to share with us. It's a secret, a kind of trade secret from a big company. But they'll introduce this lighthouse tool for public because as as a web developer everybody every web developer should learn how to fix minor issues and uh, make the website uh, as a compatible website with google so follow this tool read it carefully uh, i'm sorry i don't have uh, I, I can't explain everything in this video because it will take more time and the video will be boring for you so just uh, follow the method I taught you again right click inspect under audit you can find Lighthouse tool. So just press run audits. So this is the end of this video. Uh, every I don't recommend you to check your all pages using this tool, but at least check your home page and main categories using this tool. Uh, then you can fix uh, main 
sometimes you can you might have made mistakes so technical issues so this tool will help you to fix everything then you will see Google results will be different you will go to the top better than before so guys thanks for watching this video I will upload another video very soon uh, have a nice day